Merry Christmas. Do you have all of your Christmas shopping done? I just finished last night. It took us forever this year. I hope you have everything done by the time I'm posting this. Oh my gosh, it's probably Christmas. I plan on sharing with you everything I got my family this year for Christmas, and I have a lot of thoughts about it. So as I was shopping, first of all, I got you know their lists and was going through it. By the way, this year, we made it so easy with our older kids. We had them like link everything that they wanted, so we were literally just like, doo, 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 add to cart. And then of course, once we saw the cart, we were like, okay, save for later. <laughs> but that was amazing. Amazing. Gone are the days of getting catalogs and circling them and fighting over Furbies But I miss them. I actually went to Target and asked them. Oh, do you have like the toy catalog you usually have? I didn't get sent one this year. I feel like in the years previous they sent me one in the mail or I picked them up in store. Nope, they didn't even have them this year. What? I particularly find it challenging to shop solely online, but that's just me. Kids these days probably don't. As I was shopping for each of my children going through, initially I feel like I bought so many things for Meredith, my three-year-old. By the way, holy, what is it, the movie Birds Outside? You gotta see this. Oh, they just went away, they just went away. Oh, one, one lonely old bird. Maybe they'll show up again. There they are. What? This is ridiculous. Someone get Hitchcock over here, stat. So as I was saying, I need a candle up in here. I feel so unfestive. I couldn't do it downstairs, you know, with the Christmas tree, which is what I wanted to do. But up here is just so drab. I need a candle, give me a snowman. I wanted to do it outside. It's been sprinkling for days, so I haven't been able to do it outside and build my Sandman like last year. I had high hopes, you know? That's, I'm just running out of time at this point, so this is what you get. I have a million kids. Their ages are zero, three, six, nine, twelve and that makes it easy. So my three-year-old initially, I said, okay, I started buying things for her, and then when I was in store, I saw only things to buy for her, and I was like, no, you'd have enough for her, stop it, and at, you know, as I was sorting all their things, I thought, well, I, now I barely have anything for her. Then at the store, I was like, oh, my son, my six-year-old, I don't think I have anything for him, and I'm piling his crap up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much. Same with every single other one of my children. Enough is enough. Three gifts, really. I mean, that's what Jesus got, so that should be plenty, and we definitely went overboard, as we always do. I guess the first thing I'll share with you is their group gift. I always try to get them a gift that everyone will enjoy. It, it's getting harder as each year passes, as their age gap spreads, you know? I'm trying to think like what are they all going to enjoy, what are they all going to use and have fun with, and I try as much as possible, Alex and I, to get them like outdoors, being active, doing something, which is why we love our backyard so much. So I ended up <laughs> splurging a little. Last year they got a karaoke machine, love it. Love that thing so much. Um, it's also very fun, and um, our neighbors probably hate us. <laughs> anyway, this year I got them a basketball hoop. <laughs> a basketball, do you know how expensive those are? Oh my gosh, even secondhand people are trying to sell them for literally just as much as they are selling on Amazon at like a sale on Amazon. Of course, I try to get everything I can on a sale. Um, obviously, this is not the hoop. It is in our garage. The elves will set it up hopefully Christmas Eve because they typically open their gift on Christmas Eve, their gift together. But they'll probably I'll probably wrap this one and then, you know, we'll be like, okay, let's check outside, you know? We're gonna have to make a special request for the elves to come on by and set that up. So I hope they're excited about that. What sparked that for me, and I actually had a lot of ideas. I saw a zip line on Amazon. I saw like a, a I don't know if it's called a jungle gym or obstacle course things, and I thought, oh, that's fun, but also broken bones. So I thought maybe basketball would be a little bit safer, and then of course Alex went above and beyond. He's like, yeah, let's build a whole basketball court. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? Cement is so expensive. So a basketball hoop will do, and what sparked that for me is I was watching Father of the Bride, first of all. Fantastic movie, but they were playing basketball and then I thought you know what in growing pains if you ever watched that growing up You saw them playing basketball in their front yard like you know where their cars are in their driveway and I just thought you know what that is such a classic thing and uh, Everyone can get involved and play and it's it's no fuss. So 
Hopefully no one breaks the nose Brady Bunch style, so that will be fun for them. All right, the next bit of this hopefully will go a lot faster than that just did because I have a lot to go through. I also have my husband's gifts. I don't know if I'm gonna share them here or later. We'll see if it, how long it takes me to get through this crap. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you just to get one checked off, it's the baby. Um, realized, wow, I didn't get him anything. He is two months old. He'll be almost three months old by the time Christmas rolls around. And it's like, what do you even get? I haven't bought him any toys. He is so deprived. Oh, what is wrong? Um, so I found these. We're just walking through. Are these Melissa and Doug? Yeah, they're rollables. I don't know. They looked fun, but they're also for age six months and up. But I mean, he'll be six months in the blink of an eye. As if we don't have enough rolling balls around here but i thought these are cute and they'll be for him <laughs> i was with alex last night and i pointed out, i was like oh how about those and he goes they're ten dollars i was like he doesn't have any gifts but then we saw this one in the baby section and it is a bella tuno and these are like silicone discs so they're like teethers and it's on a little ring so i thought that was fun oh they're oh my gosh they're also flashcards. oh wow oh a cat Look at that, I had no idea. We can learn too. Cat meow. While we're teething, we can just learn uh, our animals. This is a pig, a cow, and a frog. I love this even more now. This was actually $13. And I said, okay, Alex, which one should I get? And he said, just get them both. He has no toys. So that's all I got. Another good suggestion for a baby are those indestructible books. We have one of those and they're okay. They do like, crumble a little bit which is to be expected because the kids are gonna get all into them but they don't rip which is fantastic uh the stories are subpar at best but still good uh but we have so many toys from you know each subsequent child so i felt like i didn't have i don't have to get a lot another good one okay i'm moving on to my three-year-old one thing we love for her are um like the wooden food that cuts so she got some from a family member, one of her aunts, uh, when we celebrated earlier this week. Wait, oh my gosh, what's in here now? Oh, a craft, okay. I got some crafts for the kids because we are hosting like a Christmas Eve thing, so. You know, we just can't stop, won't stop. Anyway, the wooden food Melissa and Doug love. Every single one of my kids love it. We have older kids that come over and they still play with it. That is one of the best Things you can get for kids, I think, is like a play kitchen. Ikea sells really affordable ones or find one on Facebook Marketplace. That's where we found ours 12 years, well, 11 years ago. And it is held up. It is, well, has it held up good enough <laughs> after 11 years plus however many years they had it. But felt food, wooden food, play food, get it all. Their kids love it. And that was the basis of Miss Meredith's hodgepodge but the first thing i'm going to share well hold on i'll grab them out so the food that we've had we have this cake set and all these things but after you know 11 years they're kind of looking raggedy so i thought you know what i'm gonna get her some new things and i found this this is from melissa and doug as well that's just a good company they have like quality toys most of them are wooden uh, not that it matters but the quality of them is really nice and this is a cookie set so this is a roll you can keep the cookies in here it also comes with an oven mitt and then some what are those, knives or something, spatulas? Oh, to get it off the cookie tray and stuff. But they're Velcro, so they Velcro to the pan. So this is fantastic. I feel like I got that from Kohl's, but of course, they probably have everything on Amazon. And speaking of Amazon, no, I got that one from Amazon, got this one from Kohl's, because yeah, they, oh my gosh, $40 is a joke. Everything at Kohl's is like marked up 50% just so they can mark it down 40. Uh, we all know what you're doing, okay? This is Melissa and Doug too, and this was obviously on sale, and I had Kohl's cash. I was burning a hole through my pockets, like use it or lose it. And at some point you just have to let it go because the cycle continues. So I got this for her. And of course it's for all the kids too, really, because um, the ice cream set, they love ice cream. They uh, have, I think last year we went to this creamery. Oh gosh, what was it called? It was in Pennsylvania, some kind of animal, not a cow, not a pigeon. I don't remember, but they went there and they had a little like ice cream shop We're in the kids area and well not to mention oh my gosh I don't know if I vlogged it or what but I feel like I vlogged a little pieces of it But or maybe I just took pictures who the heck cares. It doesn't matter But the kids had so much fun. They were making their own ice cream literally like making their own flavors 
I don't even like ice cream and I had so much fun there eating my ice cream. Oh, I made the best flavor. It was so good. I should be a flavor creator, as we all were while we visited whatever place that was. But anyway, downstairs they had like this ice cream shop and at our local kids museum, they have a little place like that too. So what I'm getting at is we're kind of recreating that at home and they also sell like a whole kit and caboodle, like a whole stand, ice cream stand thing for your kids. I thought my kitchen is good enough, that's fine, you know? All right, so those are, oh, and then I got some felt food and in here, this is Antsy Pants, I got this I don't know if it was at Target or Amazon, but inside, you might not even really be able to see. Oh, it's all taped up. There are little cupcakes in there. Four little cupcakes with the tops. And initially, I had a set of these from Ikea. Many years ago, I bought them. And so throughout the years, we've lost pieces. I don't know where they are. They love them. It's a little cake. It used to come with a stand, but it was cardboard, so you know that didn't last. So it had a stand with like a little piece of cake and then cupcakes, but the tops can be put off so you can interchange them. It was grand. I liked it a lot. Oh my gosh, more food. Oh, this is fun. Some boiled eggs that you can chop up. I feel like this, I don't know where this was from. Maybe probably Amazon. I went crazy of the food. That's why after I ordered all this, I was like, okay, that's good. So, oh, you can crack it. Oh, isn't that so fun? And that has like a little felt egg in there. And then I think some of them are boiled. I don't know. Okay, speaking of Amazon, I got these off of Amazon. My daughter, Meredith, she loves dressing up. She is all about dresses, all about the heels. She only has one pair of like dress up shoes, which are just like fancy shoes and loves them. She had a queen, she calls it my queen, it's her crown. And she had one, it broke, she cried. It was so sad. So Alex got her a new one, but it's been months and that one's kind of on the edge of it. I mean, we get them from Target for like three bucks. But I found this set, oh my gosh, is this open? Why? Oh, but anyway, it had four pairs of shoes, two crowns, some earrings, a bracelet, you know, all the some rings in here. We're gonna decorate out, she's gonna be super glam. But then this was like 30 bucks at least. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how much, don't even want to know how much. But then now we were at the good old cracker barrel, and guess what I saw for 50% off that was literally three dollars. And I said, Wow, I'm not joking, three dollars. Why would anyone leave this fine? Two pairs of shoes and a queen, and you have yourself a nice little dress up set. <laughs> and I was like, that's going in my return pile, okay? Oh my gosh, these are so cool. So I saw these at Kohl's. I've never seen anything like that before. I was in bed. I was at Kohl's for hours upon hours trying it. I had a lot of Kohl's cash to spend, and I was like, I don't I can't waste this, but I don't want to waste it on stupid stuff. So here I am buying more stupid stuff. So these are called Light Up Sensory Toy. And what's cool about these, I they have like the pack of just the cubes. They're glow pals and ready set glow. It supports sensory development back here, and you put them in the tub. And as soon as they touch water, they glow up, they light up, they're fun to play with. They come in all of these PAL colors. And I just thought it was so fun. They are pretty pricey, but I feel like, um, like it's one of those companies where if you buy one, they also donate. Ooh, it supports sensory development, cognitive skills, fine motor skills, color recognition, all the good things that we want. So I figured maybe some in the stocking, maybe some wrapped up. Because really, if something is over $10, it deserves wrapping paper. This is also something, <laughs> don't ask me. She, we were at Cracker Barrel and she really wanted this one. I don't even think she exactly knows what it is. Cry babies, magic tears. We don't want our babies to cry. But here we are buying toys and that probably cost an arm and a leg. I'm not sure that was an Alex thing. And then these are always a hit. Melissa and Doug, again, for the win. And this is, it comes with a water pen. So you just put water in here and then you color the pages. Well, you color the pages. It's just the water brush and um, you know, stuff comes up. But what I love about these is that you let them dry and then you can recreate it over and over and over again. So it's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, and then look at this. Winter is the coldest season and has the shortest days and the longest nights. Uncover these pictures as you color the scene. For, oh, so it's like a where's Waldo kind of thing where you have to 
search for things, three squirrels, one bird bath, one birdhouse. So that's fantastic too. So many things in one small little package. Okay, that is for Miss Meredith. Moving on to, you know what, Avelina's, my oldest. Hers are funny. We'll get there when we get there. We were at Target the other night, last night, <laughs> and well, I don't know, very okay. But um, Alex found this on the shelf and he said, this is exactly what Wentworth wants. I was like, I have never even heard him talk about this. He has been through a lot of blasters. He has plenty of blasters, the Nerf darts. Don't get me started on those, the darts. But uh, I guess this is a Roblox Nerf dart, which genius to pair up together. How is this different from any other Nerf blaster? The answer is it's not. It just has the word Roblox on it. It's like the cranberry sales guy going up to apple juice. Hey, what do you got there? Apple juice? Let's make a cran apple. What do you got there? Pineapple juice? Let's make a cran pineapple. What do you got there? Blueberry? Let's make a cran blueberry. And Roblox just dipping their toe in everything. Just like Martha Stewart. Have you even seen? Martha Stewart is in everything. I think I was cutting wrapping paper the other day. Martha Stewart wrapping paper. Man, she's a billionaire. Hey, this is one of his bigger gifts. And um, I feel like we didn't get the kids like big, I big ticket item gifts. We just got them gifts. <laughs> I don't know. No thought involved with the baby these days. It's fine. But one of the things that all of my kids have been asking for lately that Eleanor just got as a birthday gift are Crocs. So we ended up getting these Crocs. I think I got them from Kohl's. I guess I can take them out of the bag. Did you know Crocs had their very own store? So these are like the tie-dye Crocs. I feel like I didn't order tie. Oh, he wanted the tie-dye Crocs, right. Uh, good luck finding sizing for your child. Oh my God, what a nightmare that is. Anyway, we went to the Croc store because we had to exchange Eleanor's size. They have a whole store. It's literally the size of a half bathroom, and zero space to walk, <laughs> I don't know, man, it's wild in that store, but they do exist. So I got him some Crocs and then uh, for stocking stuffers, I don't know if I'm gonna show you all the stocking stuffers, but I'll just tell you, I got all the kids, I just ordered like a pack off Amazon, all the little th things that you put in the Croc holes, accessories, I don't know what they're called. They're called like digits or something like that, I don't know. Okay, and then for Wentworth, He's my six year old boy. And I saw these at, I don't know, TJ Matt Marshalls or something like that. And uh, they're Grinch slippers. So I thought he would really enjoy those. He likes fun things like that. And then while I was at Marshalls, I was per perusing around and I found this normal, oh, it's $10. Normally it's $17. Oh my gosh, normal price is $36. It's just um, shorts and a tank top. <laughs> Florida winter at its finest. And I, I don't know, I just saw the set and I was like, he would love that. So I snagged that for him. Also, a football. I went to Five Below to get a bunch of gifts for Toys for Tots. And um, I remembered our football was kind of low. They also sell basketballs. So this one was at Marshall's for $15, but they sell basketballs. I don't, was it Sperry or Spalding or something like that at Five Below for five bucks. So I had already gotten that one, so I saved it, but um, also plan on getting more because God forbid we only have one basketball when we put up our hoop, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, got this football while I was at Five Below getting a lot of toys for Toys for Tots. And can I tell you that Five Below is amazing. They had, what are those magnet, not magnet doodles, magnet tiles. They had those, a set of 12 for five bucks. They have all kinds of books, all kinds of art supplies, uh, makeup kits, nail polish. They had all kinds of stuff. I was really impressed with the stuff that they had. And then in the back of the store, they have like a little section and it was like, I don't know, five and beyond or something. I don't know how they named it, but they had like a telescope back there for 15 bucks. They had, oh, a basketball hoop, I feel like. <laughs> 25 bucks or something, but um, they have a lot of interesting stuff at that store So I would encourage you to check them out. I grabbed a football because ours is looking a little shab and rab This is one of the first things I got that I don't think I expected it to be a Christmas gift But it was at the point where it's like, okay Is this going to be a birthday gift because it's birthday is in December or Christmas gift or should I just give them to him? Because because their shoes and he needs them well um, you know, everything that a parent buys these days in December becomes a Christmas gift. So 
Um, he's gonna get some New Balance sneakers. I hope these fit him. They look, yeah, they look like they're gonna fit him. They look good. I thought these were really nice and I, they were a decent sale price. So I snagged them up. Next thing I got him, oh, this was actually from Five Below. This is so fun. A voice changer? What? He's gonna have so much stinking fun with this. So seven voice changing sound effects, child, man, woman, robot, rock and roll, echo, fuzzy. It's gonna drive us crazy. Oh, and it is STEM based. We love that. Entertaining. Oh, and then I saw these. One of my other kids asked for these. What are they? Um, strip lights. And I have yet to redo his room. We're working on it, we're getting there. But I know if the other kids open theirs up, he's going to want them too. Um, so I grabbed a box for him. I don't know how much these are. These were probably from Amazon. So one box for him will make him happy. And then Alex said he wanted stars. I don't, this is driving me crazy only because I know they're gonna fall off of his roof and I'm gonna be vacuuming them up and then they're gonna get stuck in my vacuum and then I'm gonna find them all over the dang house. I'm gonna step on them. I'm going to stub my toe on them. Uh, they're gonna get stuck to my clothes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And he doesn't care about any of that. All he cares about is the 90s aesthetic. You guys remember these glow in the dark stars. You put them in the sun and they light up at night. And I said, well, why don't we just get him one of those lights that projects? <laughs> Wouldn't that be easier? But where's the fun in that? Okay, something else that he wanted while we were at Cracker Barrel, he pointed at this, and so I guess Alex picked it up for him. It's one of those like squishy neato balls. Neato? Super duper squish ball. Oh my gosh, this thing is massive. I don't even wanna know how much that costs. And then a groovy, oh, this is a neato, neato fruit. You know what, I feel like this was expensive. Is this for him too? I don't even know, it's for one of my kids. It's gotta be for him. I, I don't, I think my older girls are over that. Okay, and then something else for him. Forgot where this came from. Oh, probably Kohl's. Yeah, totally Kohl's. And they had a whole section of like weird, random gifts. So I picked this one up. It is, he loves to prank. So he has this like robot cockroach. It is the word. He also has a robot, not a robot, but you, you put batteries in it and it just crawls all around. He has a spider and a cockroach. I hate them both. Hate them because he'll scare me with them and be like, oh my gosh, mom, look how it's on the floor. And I'll be like, ah! You guys know how easy I scare. So he likes to prank people. And he actually, I think, got those toys from Five Below. Just a heads up if you're looking for something like that. But I found this at Kohl's and I was like, okay, the spider looks decent. There's spider and ice cubes. The gum, the pack of gum, the fake poop. I, those are all things that I can handle. So I think he's gonna have fun with these scaring people that come over. And then I found, this, a sticker book for kids two to four. I think there are multiple books in here so I can divvy them up between, man, those birds, I hope one doesn't fly in the door. I can divvy them up between uh, Wentworth and Meredith, even the big kids too, I think. It's, um, Melissa and Doug sells a lot of books like this too. They're sticker books, but reusable stickers. I think these are reusable stickers. You open them up, it comes with a bunch of stickers, and you know, great for the car, great to distract them for 10 minutes while you need a breather and hide away in your pantry. Okay, last thing for Wentworth is this punching bag and gloves. I feel like our kids have so much, but this is something that he doesn't have and he's always trying to like, you know, wrestle with the girls and the they're just different. My big girls are like, stop! And you know, Wentworth's like, yeah! Wanting to wrestle and play with them. So I figure, this might be a way for him to get his energy out. Sometimes, see Wentworth, unless he has his friends over, um, you know, my girls have their friends over a lot too, and he's always trying to like wrestle with them and be, play rough, rough house with them. And you know, he rough houses with Meredith, and she, you know, she likes it because she's used to it, but the older girls aren't used to it as much. So anyway, he just likes to do that. I'm gonna give him an outlet. Oh my gosh, that box that has been behind me the whole time, I had no idea. This is the box for sweet Eleanor. Okay, so if I haven't mentioned already, it is difficult, challenging, to find them gifts for Christmas because they all age up between you know November, December, and now we have a September one. But November, December are all the rest of them, and so they have birthdays and birthday parties. And what comes with those birthday parties are gifts. Not from us, the party for them is their gift. 
uh, mostly because they get so much and so I just know they have so much I don't want to get them more experience gifts are also great we typically do bush gardens passes we have some from last year that will roll over well into the next year um, zoo passes which we also got last year which will roll over into this year because it's a calendar year and we got them later um, but it, experience gifts are the best because do you know how kids spell love T-I-M-E, <laughs> time with you, time together, making memories, and that's really the best thing that you can do. And I have felt that, especially even with my grandparents too, is like something more meaningful than getting them a bracelet or something, which is what I used to get my grandmother, because I was like, oh, she likes jewelry, let me get her a nice little bracelet, that's a, but it's whatever. Now what I do, since they're states away and I'm unable to like do something with them personally, is I get them all a gift card to a certain restaurant, or it's like a you know gift card where you pick out between five of them or whatever. And what they did last year is they all went out to eat together, which was my hope, because then they're like spending time with each other. Even if I'm not there, I know that I somehow have a part in it because I like pay for the bill, you know? So that's something you do, or take them out. Uh, my aunt took my Oma to see Cirque du Soleil. That's a really good idea. You just experience gifts like that. For us in Tampa, we have the Straz Center, that's the theater, so if there's a good show going on, that can be a gift to a ticket somewhere, a concert, comedy show, whatever it is. If you have little kids, get them a pass to the kids museum. Something like that I feel like goes a long way and it's the gift that keeps on giving because typically, uh, well, you know, not a show, but something like the kids museum or bush gardens if you live near a theme park or whatever you can get a yearly pass and then you can go over and over again throughout the year so it's not just a one time toy that they play with get bored with and then it ends up in the back of their closet so that's an idea for you if you hadn't thought about that yourself which i'm sure that you did moving on to miss eleanor we always try to do stuff with our kids by the way i feel like every weekend we're trying to do and i feel like that's half the reason why i'm so exhausted because we do go above and beyond for them and try to be there for them as much as we can so anyway just trying to do our best as parents i found this at marshall's i went crazy shopping at marshall's i needed to get gifts for a bunch of nieces and nephews and while i was there i did pick up a few items for my own kids found this and myself i found some really cool cat uh what are they called cat oh did i find those at kohl's i think i found them on kohl's online cat sponges <laughs> Oh wait, did I buy those for me or my cousin? Uh, I forgot. Well, they're mine now. Okay, yeah, anyway, I found this. This was $13, Splash. It's an LED wireless shower speaker and it lights up, which I thought was really cool. So Eleanor always brings her iPad in the bathroom and plays music while she's in the shower. She loves to sing, she loves that. So I thought, you know what, that would be a great option for her. I actually got the same thing for one of her uh, cousins. So I hope she enjoys that. I feel like she would, oh look, uh, she must have been the one that wanted the LED strip lights. She is without any in her room. And whenever friends or family comes over and sees Avelina's room, you guys know I did, redid her room. She's got like 17 different kinds of lights in there. It's like, it's like a party every night. Well, now Eleanor wanted a piece of that. So she asked for those lights and I feel like that's awesome. Also a an iPad cover. We got them iPads years ago. They're still kicking and her case she's been through a couple cases her case is looking rough and so she picked out another case that she wanted oh my gosh this one is driving me crazy um a burrito blanket first of all i have so many questions why <laughs> i even asked alex i was like i don't want this is, this is kind of dumb i don't want to get it for her. he's like it's on her christmas list just get it for her um i don't like blankets i do like burritos so I got it for her just to make her happy. You know what I mean? That's that's what life is really all about, okay? Things that bring us happiness. I got her this thing of paints. She's really into art and painting. She has a set of these that I feel like she got last year, maybe sometime during the summer. Yeah, I feel like last year. And she's gone through it a lot. So um, getting her a fresh palette. All right, what's this? A unicorn stress ball. Never have I ever seen this in my life. Well, this doesn't look like a unicorn at all. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, this one does. How ridiculous. I guess this is uh, the new thing because both of my kids asked for these like things. I don't know, these are so ridiculous. Also ridiculously expensive. Also, be careful if they break open because the little stupid things that are inside of them are extremely dangerous if they are swallowed. 
So you gotta keep a close eye on that. Oh my gosh, why? I don't even wanna talk about it. This is an Alex thing. Again, with the glow stars, good for them. I'm staying out of it. All right, what's in here? Oh, oh my gosh, okay. She wanted some plants because she doesn't have enough little knickknacks in her room, so I guess this is a pack of six for way too much money, I'll say that. Go to Ikea if you have one near you, but it's like time constraints and then the drive to Ikea. Driving literally anywhere with a baby, ugh. Oh, plants for her, she's so aesthetic. All right, moving on. Oh, okay, this is a new thing too. What are these called, Neatos? <laughs> Something's called a Neato. So, oh my gosh, it's like in a Rubik's Cube, but I guess it's a lot easier because Four out of the six sides, nope, five of, out of the six sides are one color. <laughs> so it's like a, an Rubik's Cube for beginners. I don't know, I kind of like it. She kind of likes it. It's like tipping your toe into the Rubik's Cube world. Can you solve an Rubik's Cube? Because I can't. Also, an Rubik's Cube. It's not a Rubik's Cube, it's a Rubik's. It's fine. The things you learn as you get older. Okay, this is actually stocking stuffers. Did Eleanor ask for these? I'm gonna have to go through their list again. There's two of these and they're just like a fidget toy. They go all over the place. I don't know what they're called, a blocks. Don't ask me, don't ask me questions. I'll try to find it and link it below if that's something that you've been looking for, but also don't know the name of because I had Eleanor link it. Okay, this is a, these are a couple of things I found at Five Below. Five Below is one of the last places I went to um, to get all the things for Toys for Tot. So I didn't want to get a bunch of stuff there from there for my kids because I knew I had already gotten them a bunch of stuff. But I thought this was a good gift. Um, this is a kawaii coloring book. And Eleanor, ooh, can you can you see all of that inside? Eleanor loves this kind of stuff. She also loves artwork. She always loves coloring. Um, also markers. Oh my gosh, these are double-sided. But five bucks is a good deal because on Amazon, oh my gosh, they are so expensive. The ones that she picked out on Amazon were, I wanna say 20 bucks. Stop, because we all know the caps may not make it back on the markers and they're gonna dry out or little hands are gonna get a hold of them and they're gonna end up on my walls. Kids. Okay, she also asked for a, an acrylic makeup organizer. Well, I didn't get her that because gosh, those are expensive, but I did find this at Marshall's and it was a pretty penny, $20, but it also came with Q-tips. Wait, Q-tips, what are these, cotton rounds? I could use that. You know what, I could use all of this makeup brushes. She doesn't do makeup, but I will take those brushes and then she can put whatever the heck she wants in it. It's a double gift, a gift all in one. I had to buy my own gifts because if I want to get what I want, I need to buy that. <laughs> This, I don't know, don't ask me. Unicorn something. I feel like Alex got this for her for, oh, is it like a wishing a dream catcher? Alex got this for her for her birthday, but we typically don't give them presents on their birthday, so there's that, saved it for Christmas. And then a rainbow canopy. Oh my gosh, is this girl diva or what? I'm sure I can find a picture of this. I, this is again something Alex ordered, but this is all of Eleanor's gifts. Happy about that. I'm sure she's going to be happy about it too. All right, almost there. Moving on to Miss Avelina. Okay, these actually just came in today and I thought they were so... I might take these for her, from her, check it. How cool are these? You guys know, you guys. If they barely fit my face, what are they gonna look like on hers? Oh man, that's funny. I will say this is the first year that my kids asked for like the most random things. What's one thing that was always on your Christmas list as a child? I'll tell you something. I always, every single year, I had that JC Penny book to go through, the JC Penny catalog, Christmas catalog. Every year going through that, one of the first things on my Christmas list, punch buggy car. Like one of those, you know, battery operated cars when you're a kid power wheels or something like that. It was a punch buggy and oh my gosh, all of my dreams started in that very moment the second I saw that car. Okay, this is something Alex got for her from Cracker Barrel. I don't even know where they were. Oh, maybe Target? I don't know where they were. But I guess she saw these and liked them so Alex said yes. I, you know, this girl and her style, I will never understand it. I tried. <laughs> We went to a Christmas Eve thing and I was like, okay, can you wear something like not sweatpants? Can you wear something nice? The thing that she put on, I was like, that's good enough. I don't even care. I want them to be comfortable, but also it, 
Can you please, like, do you have a black shirt? Just a plain black shirt with, like, not something ridiculous on it. Oh, it makes me laugh. Okay, something that she literally talks about every single day. She's been to scouts meetings several times. So she's, you know, getting her foot started in there. She does a lot of things. She's very busy, 12 year old. Okay, so this is a fire starter. I found this, what is it, a flint and steel? I'm not sure if this is a flint and steel, but she actually just got a flint and steel from one of her aunts and loves it. Literally talks about it every single day for like months. She went on this like camp experience for four days with her school and just fell in love with nature and camping. And camping is not something that we've ever done as a family, so she's real into it. So she's been talking about flint and steel. And so I found this at Kohl's, like in the stocking stuffer section. I was like, okay, let me give this a try. This is a compact fire starter. Okay, metal striker. Yeah, it's like a flint and steel. Emergency whistle, oh, compass and a woven lanyard. Waterproof storage compartment for tinder. What? SOS instructions and universal help signals. Okay, so it's like an all-in-one. I'm keeping this. Alex was like, return that to fire and all that stuff. And I was like, I think it'll be fine. So stay tuned, okay? And since the other kids were getting some lights and stuff, I decided to grab some for Avelina too. The, what is this? Oh my gosh, sound activated? Oh, wait. I don't know, don't ask me. We have some in our, our outdoor patio area, in our lanai, and we always forget about them when we have people over and it's nighttime. So remind me, Christmas Eve, to turn on, turn on like the red and green ones. Okay, anyway, this is another thing she was really excited about. These are glasses. Maybe I can, oh no, they're shut. But I guess they're like light up glasses. I don't really know a lot about them, but she was really excited about these two. Cool light technological glasses. That's the title on the top. All right, cool, moving on. Oh, something else that she was really wanting were Crocs. Now that I'm looking at these, because in the Croc store I said, find your size and let me know. And this is the size that she told me. Um, so she just, hers are black. That's what she wanted. She actually asked for another color too, um, but they were out of stock, so I got I grabbed the black ones. And then again in her stocking, she'll get like the little digits or doggles or I don't know what they're called. Okay, something practical, probably also for her stocking, but also her stocking is not very big. And how much were these? $10 for both of them, which is a great deal. They're like mega size. Compared to Target prices, you can't get the small bottle for less than seven bucks. So this is a mega bottle and it is the shampoo and conditioner. She likes the Maui brand and stuff like this. I remember getting like, you know, as a teen in my stocking, I remember getting like face wash and stuff like that. So actually we didn't do stockings. Everything was wrapped. Mm, the smell of that is decent too. Like it, like it, like it. Okay, fidget toy set. Not sure where this came from. Don't remember anything that happened in my life. Oh, Amazon. Okay, she, again, these like squishy ball things. I guess there was a set of them. How many are in there? Three, six. So six of those. Oh, one looks like a soccer ball. She plays soccer, by the way, and she's really into it. I've never seen her be into a sport as much as she is soccer. She did cross country for um, the beginning of this year and then last year, and I don't know. So I think that like conditioned her to be able to play soccer really well. So she's doing that. And then a little penguin. Can you see the little penguin? It's in there. That's something that she wanted on her list. So moving on, I don't know what that is. I'm too lazy to open it up right now. Got a soccer ball for her. This is from Five Below. So I thought this would be, fun. is this a volleyball? Oh my gosh. Oh, I think it's a soccer ball. I think she'll like that. The soccer ball that she has right now, it's so raggedy and she definitely needs a new one because she plays soccer. She goes outside and plays soccer all the time, which is so nice. Um, okay, and then, Oh, something on my list that I wanted to get her were goals. But really she's just working on her dribbling. I don't know what that's called. Like her foot skills and stuff like that. Okay, this is something also that she's been talking about forever and always. Okay, so whenever any of my kids are like, I really want X, Y, Z. I always try to tell them, okay, well, let's see if you want it in a few days. Because I'm not going to get you something just because you want it right now. You know what I mean? And though, so this is something <laughs> I feel like a year. She wanted this last year for Christmas. And I was like, oh, that you'll get over it. I don't think you'll play with it. All this stuff. You guys, she has not stopped talking about this stuff for a year. So finally I gave it to her. 
and you're like, what the heck is in that bag? Okay, so it's like an ostrich thing, a puppet. I remember having these when I was a kid. They were bigger. I feel like I got them from like the flea markets and stuff. These are on the smaller scale, but I don't, for whatever reason, it's like 20 come in a pack. So she's gonna have a lot of fun with these. She can put on a whole dang puppet show. She can get all her friends over here and put on a puppet show too. Crazy, what a random, what a random toy that is. But you know what? Some 12 year olds, while they're asking for like makeup and all this other stuff, I'm over here getting like an all ostrich puppet, so I'll take it. Something else that she asked for were headphones, I guess. So here they are. I, I guess, you know, kids and technology. Are these gaming headphones? Sound is survival. Is it though? I would have gone with water, but okay. Uh, I don't know what these are. Stickers, maybe. Who the heck knows? Oh, maybe like the vinyl ones for water bottles and stuff. So it's a whole pack of those. I saw this while I was at Kohl's as well. And initially I thought, you know what? Great stocking stuffers, great. Because at this point I had like nothing for her. I thought these would be fantastic. But now I'm like, okay, well it comes in a box. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. And that sounds like a really great idea. It's the raw sugar. It comes with lotion, body butter. Isn't that the same thing? Oh, sugar scrub and then body wash. I don't, they had a bunch of different ones and I just picked that one. And then the last thing for her, hope she enjoys it, it, are these makeup brushes because sometimes when her friends come over, they like, they. she has a little bit of makeup. She doesn't wear it every day just for fun. She'll like put it on and stuff, but uh, she is needing some of these tools. She specifically, she asked for a beauty blender, but this whole kit, was $20 and really I was looking, I was like, well maybe I can take some of these brushes off of her hands. But these are for her, the beauty blenders and then it comes with like some tweezers and I thought, geez Louise, I spend like 11 bucks on just one pair of tweezers. So even if those are duds, I can keep them, uh, I can keep one in my room and it's not even for me, but like if it happens to come in my room, I won't be sad about it. Four beauty blenders, this whole kit was 20 bucks. I felt like that was a screaming deal. And that is all that I got her. Do you want to see what I got Alex? I'm hesitant to show you, even though I feel like he has spoiled every one of his gifts. Not on purpose, but kind of. Okay, well, you know what? It's at the tail end of the video. Will he watch this? I'll tell him not to, I don't know. Spoiler alert, Alex, stop watching. All right. Boring stuff first and we'll escalate from there. So this is just a manicure set. It's hard to shop for Alex. I feel like if he wants something, he normally just buys it. $15 for this one, it's a manicure set. But what got me is it's $15 for all of these and you get this bag, which he likes to use bags like this for random stuff. And I thought this was pretty nice. So maybe he can put his shaving stuff in here or whatever, but found that, I thought that was good. That was from Marshalls. I did a lot of shopping at Marshalls. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you know this, but Alex is, oh, <gasps> he has another gift coming in. He has more gifts, are they in here? I don't know, we'll see. I might have put them somewhere else. I got him, okay, he's been really into pickleball lately. Hold on, is that my phone? He's been really into pickleball lately, and I saw this randomly at Marshall's and I thought, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. So they're socks, eat, sleep, pickleball. And then it comes with pickleballs. And then what is a dink dink? Hilarious. I thought, yes, amazing. He loves, he's going to love that, I hope. And I feel like he saw that, but I hope he like shielded his eyes. And then I also got him two pickleball shirts off of Amazon. So those should be in soon which uh, shipping is taking longer than a couple of days, I'm just saying. But those are funny. I forgot what they say, but I'll try to put them on the screen. It's like, I don't play pickleball every day. Oh wait, yes I do, or something like that. And then the other one I can't remember, but I feel like he's going to love those. He's going to wear them while playing pickleball. He's obsessed with it. He's been obsessed with it for a couple of months now. So I feel like it is a sport that he is going to see through and uh, he's been doing really well at it. Okay, <gasps> this is another good one. Where did I find this? I initially saw someone post about this. They said it was at Target. They posted about it on Instagram. So I tried to buy it from Target, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I found it, oh, at Kohl's, of course. Oh my gosh. Okay, it was $60, but it was half off. But still, 30 bucks, this is ridiculous. Anyway, it's a charging station for his phone, for his iPods, or what are those called? I forgot. 
ear ear pods and his watch his apple watch so all of his products can charge in one nice little station will he use it oh earbuds whatever aren't they also called ibods I, whatever I, it doesn't matter <laughs> those things that you put in your ears that you listen to things built-in usb usb c ports 18 watt total output i don't know what any of that stuff means but i feel like he's gonna get a kick out of that this is something that's really fun that i thought oh this is a great gift okay so this is a hook and ring a premium bamboo target oil ribbed bronze hardware and string wow and string it's one of those hooks you play the game outside and it's just something to keep you busy occupied while you're hanging out with people outside and i feel like um we have a perfect spot for this we have like a pole and if we can get this hung up correctly i feel like it'll be just a nice little lazy game to play uh i remember going out to eat like as a family we would go to hooties hooters i freaking love hooters wings tell me a place that does wings better than hooters and i will fight you because Hooters just does it the best. They've got the best stuff. Anyway, they have a game like that. So that's where I was initially exposed to it. And uh, yeah, ever since then, I've been hooked. Get it? Anyway, I feel like it. We went to someone's house like a year ago who had it. And I thought, oh, that's a fun game. Okay. Anyway, so I also got these Harry's things for him. Again, I found them at Marshall's for $9. It's shave gel. I could have just gone to Target. I feel like they sell a lot of Harry's brand stuff. But it probably would have been... $12.99 at Target. Okay, some, this is his big gift. Something that he's been asking for. I got him a couple of t-shirts from Kohl's. Black, white, blue, nothing too exciting. But this is his exciting gift. Last and uh, save the best for last. Binoculars. It's not just any binocular set. This was on a really good sale on, it was either Black Friday, Cyber Monday, one of those. You know, that thing lasts for two weeks these days. So it's a powerful HD binoculars. And I guess you can hook your phone up to it or something. Bring the world closer to you. Enjoy camping and sharing. I don't know. It, this, this is really expensive. Does it come with a tripod or something? When we're out on the balcony at night, we're always trying to look for stuff. Oh, are these night vision? I don't know, something to look into. But uh, I spent an arm and a leg on this. I hope he enjoys it. Pretty sure he saw it. So he knows he's going to get it. <laughs> anyway, that is everything that I got my family for Christmas. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some ideas maybe for Christmas gifts or Hanukkah gifts next year or uh, birthday gifts or whatever. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy new day and I'll see you next time. Bye.